Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Coleman, Weber's Grilling Expert. I am extremely excited today because we're going to be discussing how to smoke on Weber's Smoky Mountain Cooker Smoker. It's designed to cook at low temperatures from 225 degrees to 250, and that's because of its unique shape and design. The charcoal burns in the bottom section. Water sits in the pan in the middle section, preventing any fat from dripping onto the coals. And more importantly, keeping the temperature nice and low. Your food sits on one or two racks in the middle section. The top section is the lid, which includes a vent and a thermometer. We've shown you the main components of our smoker. Now we're gonna show you how to set it up. Lay the charcoal grate in the bottom section and set the charcoal ring on top of the grate. Fill a chimney starter to the top with charcoal and pour the unlit charcoal into the ring spreading it out evenly. Now if you are using a 22 and a half inch diameter smoker, fill the charcoal starter with charcoal again and light the charcoal in a completely safe and reliable way. If you are using an 18 inch diameter smoker, fill the chimney starter only halfway with the charcoal and light it safely. Now here's a couple tips I can give you. If you're using charcoal briquettes, make sure they have ash over them. And if you're using lump charcoal, make sure the sides are lit. Then carefully, using two barbecue mitts, take the lit charcoal and pour that on top of the unlit charcoal. You need to make sure that you spread it out evenly. Over time, the unlit charcoal will burn and extend the life of the fire. Now we're going to put our Weber Smoky Mountain Cooker Smoker together. Just make sure that the water pan is completely empty and suspended in the midsection. Now immediately you need to add water to the water pan, and you want to do this before it gets hot. It needs to be at least halfway to three quarters of the way full. Next, set the two cooking grates in place inside the middle section. Now place the lid on top. A water smoker has vents on the bottom section and one in the lid. At this point, open the top vent completely and close the bottom vents halfway. Wait until the smoker reaches its ideal temperature range of 225 to 250 degrees. Now we're going to open the charcoal access door and add our wood chunks. Just make sure you use your barbecue tongs and a mitt. You also want to follow the recipe to make sure you're using the correct wood and the amount. Close the charcoal access door and wait a few minutes for the smoke to stream out of the vent located on the lid. Now when your smoker reaches the ideal temperature, you're gonna take the lid off and you're gonna put your food onto the cooking grates. You wanna start with the bottom and work your way to the top. But remember, the food on the top will drip down to the food on the bottom. Put the lid on the smoker. Wait for 10 to 15 minutes to see if the temperature returns to the ideal range, 225 to 250 degrees. Often the food will bring down the temperature inside the smoker. If the temperature is too low, open the bottom vents a bit more. If the temperature is too high, close the top vent as much as halfway, but never close the top vent all the way. Now hopefully you've been able to give me some great tips on how to use your Weber Smoky Mountain Cooker Smoker. A couple things to remember, you wanna make sure you have enough fuel and you monitor your unit accordingly. And if you have any other questions, refer to your owner's manual, find us here on Weber.com, or call our customer service at 1-800-446-1071. And always, happy grilling.